But yeah, the name is Slack. Thanks for coming back. Time for a brand new Skyrim Pure Race build. We've done five so far. Pure Khajiit, Pure Imperial, Pure Nord, Pure High Elf, and Pure Orc. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I am jonesing for some alchemy. The last time we started a Pure Race build that included alchemy was last freaking November. November, people. In pandemic time, that's like 10 years ago. And out of the remaining races we have left to do in our Pure Race series, three of them have alchemy as a race-specific skill. That would be Breton, Dark Elf, and Wood Elf. Now, I think the perfect follow-up to our ultra-honorable Pure Orc run would be an ultra Dishonorable Wood Elf Run. Huh? Huh? So let's do it. Here we go. Pure Wood Elf Run starts now. He makes dumb jokes while he shoots his gun. Major Slack is lots of fun. Major Slack Attack. Hey, wait a minute. There's no guns in this game. Shut up, Pee Wee. Okay, here we go. Let's recap the general rules of engagement for a Skyrim pure race build. By default, there are 18 skills in Skyrim. All of them start at level 15 by default, except six race specific skills. Of those six race specific skills, one is a primary skill starting at level 25, and five others are secondary skills starting at level 20. These six skills shall be referred to as race specific skills as they differ for each of the 10 different races in Skyrim. To do a pure race run, you have to choose a race and then restrict yourself to only using and leveling up your race's six special skills. So this time we have chosen Wood Elf. So let's take a look see and we can see that the Wood Elf starts out with Archery at level 25 and Light Armor at 20, Sneak at 20, Lock Picking at 20, Pickpocket at 20, and Alchemy at 20. Those are the Wood Elf's six race specific skills. All the other skills start at the default level of 15. All right, so to do a pure Wood Elf run, we may only level up Archery, Light Armor, Sneak, Lock Picking, Pickpocket, and Alchemy. All right. Now, one exception for all the pure race builds is speech. We permit buying and selling, but a side effect of that is we will level up speech. This is allowed, although we are not allowed to put any perk points into speech, but we will be able to allow to inadvertently level up speech as a result of buying and selling. Now, since a lot of you had a hard time with the extra rules of engagement we imposed on the pure orc run we just finished doing, <laughs> I had a hard time with those rules of engagement. This time around, there will only be one extra rule of engagement, and that is no quick save pickpocketing. What's quick save pickpocketing? So that quick save pickpocketing refers to doing a quick save just before you pickpocket someone so that if the pickpocket fails, you simply do a quick load and try again. Our pure wood elf will not be allowed to do that. Instead, she will be required to face all the consequences of any and all failed pickpocketing attempts, even if it means going to jail. All right? And that's it. No other extra rules of engagement. Our pure wood elf may act as dishonorably as she pleases. All right, I want to make a female wood elf. I've always had problems making a good looking female wood elf, but I, I've been practicing and I think I got it down now. If anybody wants the setting I used to make this wood elf, uh, just post a comment, I'll gladly post all this. Oh wait, what, look at all those new hairstyles. Wow, okay. Um, now what's going on there? Let's go with this one. Actually, I think I want her hair a little lighter, but I'll fix that up later. Okay, and we're gonna call her Dipper Conway. Dipper, because she's going to be dipping into people's pockets quite frequently, and Conway, well, that's self-explanatory. Alright, now, uh, I'm just going to fast track through this, you know the routine, Numbnut gets beheaded, the dragon appears, and we make a run for it. Run, Dipper, run! And we're going to go with Hadvar, simply because it's faster to go through Helga Keep with Hadvar than it is with Braylock. Not the first door, but the second door. 
Go with the red guy, not the blue guy. And here we go. Bump skipped Hadvar to get him to hustle along here. Hustle up there. And untie us. And then we're going to do the dungeon test. This is what happens every time I make a female wood elf. I get her in a dark dungeon and all of a sudden she looks like hell. <laughs> and they're like, gee, everything I thought that, you know. Okay, so how does she look in a dark dungeon? And she... Oh, not too bad. Oh, okay. Cool. Great. Let's get rid of those. Ah, looking even better now. Mwah. <laughs> Okay, I lighten up her hair, everything's good. Okay, enough gopping at the goodies, let's get busy. Um, we're playing as a wood up, that means that the only weapon we can use is a bow. There are no bows to be found in all of the Helgen Keep, unless we wait and go with that guy throughout the entire run, and then he's gonna give us a bow at the end, just a crappy long bow. Let's not do that, let's just jam on through, make our own way. See you later, Hadvar. That's right, Hadvar, you try to talk your way out of that mess. Okay, I'm just gonna try to get some ingredients here. This could be a little hairy. Yoink, yoink. Uh, so great to be collecting ingredients. Okay, there's some potions over there. So there's four rock warbler eggs in a basket down there. And, um, this could be a little hairy. Let's just do a quick save. Whoops, okay, let's try this again. Let's go. Yoink, yoink, yoink. Haha, <laughs> got your potions. Wait a minute. No, oh, we can watch it now. Go. All right, Dipper, run. Okay, lock picks. Lock picks. Search. Grab lock picks. Okay, we're good. Supposed to go. Okay, we're just gonna just minute, hop along Cassidy along this way here. This guy will always leave you alone, don't worry about it. Go up here, hit the lever. And as a wood elf, we had the command animal power. That means we can put any animal under our power for a full minute, including spiders. So when we got to come up to the spider cave, let's just zap them all and go grab their spider eggs. And a little bit of jump change here, grab that. Into the spider cave we go, and... Shazam! Ha-ha! Okay, got your eggs. Got your eggs. That's three, four, and there's three more here. Five, six, Seven. Everybody got seven spider eggs, and four rock. Four rock. Blah, 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 those things there. Okay. Good. Good. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> rock warbler eggs. Rock warbler eggs. Rock war. You say that three times fast. And um, everybody gave me hell for not grabbing this money in here. Like I didn't know about it. Okay. Got it this time. Haha. <laughs> And that's it. And route. Did Hadbar make it out with us? He did. Wait. What? The dragon. What are you doing, Slack? Nothing? Nothing? Looks like he's gone for good this time. But I don't think we should stick around to see if he comes back. The closest town from here is Riverwood. My uncle's the blacksmith there. I'm sure he'd help you out. It's probably best if we split up. Good luck. I wouldn't have made it without your help today. And good luck to you, too. Ah, oh, she still looks good. Wow, she makes all the light tests. Okay, so, did you know there's a special hidden graphic setting in Skyrim where if you crouch and stand up three times in rapid succession, you can greatly improve the colors and saturation? 
What? Yeah, look, watch. Here we go. <laughs> oh, come on, Slag. No, I'm not kidding. It really works. Try it. If you can't get it to work, post a comment. I'll help you out. Okay, it can get kind of tricky. But look, the colors and everything looks so much brighter and it's nicely saturated. It's beautiful. Oh, it's just great. And then the sky, you know, the sky is so much bluer and, uh, yeah. Oh, there's another secret setting where if you quickly drink three Alta wine, you get rewarded with the sexiest clothes in the game, the tavern clothes. Ah, come on. It's like, no, it's true, it's true. But it only works with Alta wine and a female character. You drink them really fast, okay, and you get the tavern clothes. The tavern clothes. Oh. Yep, so a couple of uh, secret settings in Skyrim that you may not have known about. Once again, post a comment if you couldn't get that to work, I'll help you out. It, that one can get, it can be a little tricky, but you gotta do it just right. You gotta drink them like really fast, and it only works as a female character. So looking pretty hot. Gotta get her some shoes. Yeah, I know, we're gonna get her some shoes. She's got that Wilma Flintstone look going on now. We're gonna get her some shoes. But yeah, that's it. Yeah. So we're good. I think we're all ready. So, enough gopping at the goodies. Let's get busy. Alrighty then. Dipper Conway is down there in the trenches behind the gun. And MC Dub Slack is in the rear with the gear behind the mic. Let's get to it. First order of business is to get down to the Guardian Stones and activate the Beach Stone. And you can see the Guardian Stone on the compass. It's almost directly above Dipper's head. It's that stone-like icon. There it is right there. All right? And uh, all our skills will benefit from the Thief Stone, even our tree, even though that's a glitch. Uh, the unofficial patch mod corrects that glitch and makes our tree a warrior stone or a combat stone or a combat skill. But I don't have that installed, so. And you may not have it installed either. So there we go, Thief Stone. Everything is leveling up 20% faster. Let's wait 24 hours to recharge our command animal power which we're going to use shortly. This walkthrough will require the Hearth Fryer DLC which added Salmon Row as an ingredient. Salmon Row can be used to make the most expensive, like, I mean like ridiculously expensive potion in the game. Um, can be mixed with garlic and Nordic Barnacle. Uh, once again mentioning the unofficial patch mod, they attempted to correct that because they thought that was a glitch too and then they got a little slap on the wrist from, no they didn't, but they um eventually found out that nope they were wrong the Skyrim developers did indeed intend for salmon row uh, to make really expensive potions so yeah that's that's not a glitch it's it's normal all right now you can s farm salmon row by catching jumping salmon however we're a wood elf so we could just use the command animal power to basically use it like a stick of dynamite here at the rapids see the salmon jumping wait till best time is to wait till just after they jumped and then go down here and look around for dead salmon or the little red caviar and pick up all the dead salmon and little red caviar everyone you see and you should get anywhere from 10 to 14 14 is my record although I've never done that on the PC version I've only done that on the PS4 um, you're looking to have 12 by the way, you should have done a quick save just before that. Sorry about that. Yeah, do a quick save just before you do that. So that if you don't get 12, you can try again. And usually I just stand up here and see if there's any that I missed. And then check it out to see if I got 12. And indeed, I got 12. So we're good. Good to go. And there we go. There's our requisite siren. It's not a major slack video unless there's a siren. Pick up that nern root there. And we're going to push into Riverwood. In Riverwood, we're going to hook up with Savan and do the whole caper with, you know, uh, Camilla at the Riverwood Trader. And we're going to side with Savan this time. Okay, so first order of business. Talk to Savan. Thinks he can. Camilla. You and Findel like the, both, both like the same girl? You may be right. Here, give Camilla this letter. It's full of venomous nonsense. Okay, so we got Fendel. a letter full of venomous nonsense. We'll take care of that in a minute. First of all, we're going to go talk to Alvor. Sigrid, talk to Alvor. Grab all his goodies. Do you have any supplies I can take? What's all this about? Grabby, grabby, grabby. 
Tell him about the dragon. That explains what I, I, the Jarl, and as soon as you get the objective to tell the Jarl, you can split. And let's go down into the basement. Loot their ingredients, which are free. And there's two troll fat over here. Make sure you grab those. And that's that. And there's more ingredients up here by the... don't know where to stop. You know I was the dining room table. We will stop Grab all that, especially the L's ear. The L's ear can be used to make bow damage potions. When your friend told me, I didn't believe it at first time. Make sure you grab those leaks there, and don't forget the bag of money. A dragon in Helgen? And yes, I love the chump change. I, I, I don't care about chump change. What kind is it? So sue me. Okay, it's so over to the Riverwood Trader, and deliver your letter of venomous nonsense. To Miss Valeris. Well, you can lie. That say I have a letter from Fainedale. Hey, watch with the long-eared ass know. up there, eh? Okay. Odds and ends. We got elves in, the, sort of elves in the neighborhood. Sell Luca and everything. Unless you're lucky enough to have gotten a ring of archery. And most particularly, sell him the flawless emerald and any food. Well, basically all the food except the leeks. No, no, don't sell that leek. No, it's too late now. Okay, no, no problems. Keep the leek. And that's it. Mm -hmm. And we are out of here. Now, uh, we can get a free bed in Riverwood if... Wait a minute, we're not doing that yet. Let's go back to Sven. I'm getting a little ahead of myself. Talk to Sven. Complete the deal. Miss Valeris is yours. Make him a follower. Just gonna do this briefly. No, no, don't punch him there, Dipper. You know, just, just make friends with him. Okay, and I need to trade some things with you. And take all the stuff. Most importantly, the key to his house. Now we're going to dismiss him as a follower, he just wanted to I'll use him for that. If you need me. Use the key to get into his house, and in his house is a ton of garlic, ten to be exact. Four here on the table. And grab everything else that isn't nailed down. Three up here. Grab some more elves ear and frost miriam, and some more frost miriam and elves ear here. And three more garlic here for a total of ten. Alright, got all that. And that's all we want. Let's go, Dipper. Out you go. Now, let's go have a nap. Get the well rested bonus. So, off to the inn. In Whiterun, we can get a free bed by chopping some wood and selling the firewood to the innkeeper in Whiterun. So, that's what we're going to do as soon as we have a nap. Don't forget to loot this fish barrel here. And let's go talk Are to Delphine. Listening? Delphine, I'd like to rent a room, please. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. The ale is going bad. We need to get a new bag. Here is our room. And we're going to sleep for 24 hours. Sleep for 24 hours. Recharge our command animal power. Did you hear me? Done and done. Now, yep. Ale's going there bad. is a woodcutter's axe no. over by the mill. Let's go grab it and chop some wood. Don't forget to grab this fly I'm needed here. That's very important. Grab the woodcutter's axe. And I'm just going to cast a spell of fast wood chopping to speed things up here. There we go. And whoop, we leveled up fast wood chopping to 16. Great. Now, um, fast wood chopping is obviously a wood elf skill. Okay, so I don't want to hear anybody complaining that I broke the rules of engagement. Okay? Come on. Um, <laughs> and uh, let's make our way up the hill. And over the mountain. And up here is a wolf. Cast your command animal to calm him down. Calm him down. Over the mountain we go. And down to Pelagia Farm. Let's just step on the gas here because this is pretty routine. Make sure you actually discover Pelagia Farm. And then um, you've all heard of Uber and Uber Black, right? Well, here in Whiterun, they have Uber Punch. Just punch any guard, and you get a free ride to the front door of Dragon's Reach. You're going to. And all I have to do is spend a day in jail. Seems well worth it. <laughs> there we go. So we're at the front door of Dragon's Reach, and we got a free set of ragged boots out of the deal as well. But they are just so incredibly unstylish. So we're going to drop those and get some better boots. Here, right in front of Dragon's Reach, there is a pool. In the pool is eight Nordic Barnacle. One, two, 
three, four. Fifth one over here, you can barely see it, it's right there. Let's come up for air, take a breath. Down we go for three more. Two more here on the, on the bottom. And one on the side of the pool right here. For a total of eight Nordic Barnacle, once again, that could be mixed with garlic and salmon roll to make a ridiculously expensive potion. Let's go into Dragon's Reach. Go up to talk to Irilith. What's the meaning of this interruption? Alvar sent me. My job is to uh, and Dragon has destroyed Helgen. Helgen. And that should fast track Jarl things with the Jarl. Just approach. Yo, Jarl dude. So There's the dragon and stuff. Really? Yes. But it's none of my concern. Bye. Just what fast track all that dialogue there. And while the Jarl and the steward are commiserating about the dragon, let's go over to Ferengar and ask him the perennial question. Are you the biggest pompous ass jerk off in Whiterun? I believe I am, yes. Technically speaking, of course. Oh, okay, great. Ah, that reminds me. Speaking of alchemists, I have some frost salts for Arcadia. Would you be so kind as to deliver the frost salts for me? Yes, we will I'm do sure. that. Good. You're clearly better This will make us friends with Arcadia. And at which point we can loot her shop. Back to the Jarl. Yes, my Jarl. And let's just bump skip the steward. And then we can talk to the Jarl. Well done. Here. And he gives Thanks. us some studded imperial armor, which we're not going to use, Let's we're just going to steal. First thing you should do right now is wait an hour, so we hustle up the Jarl over to Ferengar's lab. Over to Ferengar's lab and finish up getting the quest to get the Dragonstone. There we go. Retrieve the Dragonstone. Once you got that, you can leave. Now we are friends with Dragon Reach, so we can go to the kitchen and take everything for free. There are eight, strike that, nine elves here in here. I'm gonna have to jump to get these eight here. Okay, once again, L's ear can be used to make bow damage potions. And don't forget the frost miriam and the garlic. Some more garlic here. And one more L's ear over there on the wall there. Don't forget that dipper. Grab all these vegetables. You gonna forget the elves here? Ah, that girl. This is a good dipper. And don't forget the potatoes. And leeks. And then we're gonna go downstairs and get three more elves here. And some more cabbages. We are gonna make a small batch of vegetable soup. I'll tell you why we need that later. Alright, three more elves here here. And some raw beef. And the cabbages. Done. Let's go. Here's some more boots. Let's try them on. And I don't like them. They they cover they cover up too much leg. We can do better. No point in wearing the tavern clothes if we're going to cover up our legs. <laughs> All right. Next begins our life of crime. After we take a little jump into the pool, grab that hanging moss there. Tight rope along this here and over here. Some more hanging moss right here. In here in the town circle, grab all the ingredients. Well, specifically blue mountain flower, purple mountain flower, and lavender. Now, there may not be as many blue mountain flower and purple mountain flower and lavender as you see here, depending on what version of Skyrim you have. I believe the Skyrim Special Edition added a ton of ingredients to Whiterun. If you're on the PS4 version, you should have Skyrim Special Edition, no problem. Anyways, don't worry about it. All you really need is one blue mountain flower, but I'm just collecting uh, these other ingredients for later for some other endeavors. Alright, into your Vasker. Just checking to see how many purple mountain flower I have. It'd be nice to have a dozen. Into your Vasker. Strongly recommend that you do a quick save here, because we're going to be doing some thieving, and we only have six 
lockpicks. And I haven't seen you before. if you're not good at lockpicking, you may end up breaking all your lockpicks on this expert lock here in Ayala's room. This display case right here is an expert lock. Just play it real careful. And I ended up breaking one. And I got in. And grab this elven bow. Yoink! And don't forget to grab this, these four ice ray teeth. And while we're at it, since we've already, like, you know, activated the hired thugs, we might as well make it worth it, you know? We're gonna do the time, so we might as well do the crime big time. <laughs> so grab everything else that is nailed down that you think you might be able to sell for some moolah. And out we go! Alright, so that's it. Hired thugs are after us. We have officially stolen something. It won't end here though. Let's go over to Arcade. No, first of all, let's get the well rested bonus. Here in the Bannered Mare, we can sell some firewood to the innkeeper to raise our disposition with the Bannered Mare. Now, um, you don't have to sell all the firewood. Just sell her one. So drop five. Go over to the innkeeper, Hulda. How about I have firewood to sell, work. and now we're friends with the inn, so we could take all their stuff for free, and we could sleep in their bed for free and get the well-rested bonus. So grab all the vegetables, most particularly cabbages, leeks, Look potatoes, you. and tomatoes. We're going to use those to make a batch of vegetable soup. The one to talk to. And some more elves here, mm -hmm. some more tomatoes here. Hit up the fish barrels for some salt pile. And let's cook a batch of vegetable soup. Don't forget the two leeks on the table there, Dipper. Because we want to make nine vegetable soup. Yes, Mom. Two leeks on the table. I think Dipper's looking at that going, there's something wrong here. He only made seven vegetable soup. Get the two leeks on the table behind you. Now please, no more There questions. we go. Add a girl. Okay, now make two more vegetable soup. And maybe a couple of beasts too. There we go. Done and done. Let's go have a nap. Get the well rested bonus. Oh yeah, right. There is some more ingredients behind the counter here, if which we can grab. Drink, speak to Hulda. And there's a bag of money on the counter, but I didn't really care about that. It's only jump change. And let's sleep till business hours the next day. This will give us the well rest bonus and be dead the thief stone, which we can use to get 30% better alchemy leveling. Nothing. Nothing Here, dragon's tongue and Nothing. some more what purple mountain flower. And into Arcadia's culture, we're going to deliver the frost salts. This will make us friends with Arcadia's culture, and at which point we can grab most, not all, most of the ingredients for free, which we're going to do now. Make sure you do a quick save uh, now, because um, just in case you accidentally steal something, not everything in the shop is free. I'd say about maybe 90% of it is free. Some of it is still marked as steal. So, yeah, do a quick save just in case you screw things up. Okay, so we're gonna loot everything. You need, my friend. I've done this a few times before, as you could tell. Everything that is nailed down. No, grab the death bell. There we go. And that potion. Back anytime, Juniper berries ready. right here. Frostbite venom. Death bell, leave that alone. More frostbite venom, more death bell, and a couple of lavender. Help. You have but to ask. Done and done. Let's go make some potions. Oh, don't forget the salt pile and the fish barrels here. Alright, let's make some power potions with everything that we collected. Starting off with... Don't forget to do a quick save just in case you screw things up. Starting off with Canis Fruit, Hanging Moss, and Spider Eggs. Canis Fruit, Hanging Moss, and... Spider Egg. You can make two of those. 
Next, we're going to make mixed blue mountain flower, hanging moss, and rock warbler egg. Hanging moss and rock warbler egg. We can make one of those. Next, we're going to make dragon's tongue, mixed dragon's tongue, fly amanita, and more tapanella. And we can make three of those. Next, we're going to make death bell, salt, and taproot. After we level up. And I just want to level up so they keep track of uh, everything. Points to stamina. Yes, stamina. And we're going to get light fingers. Light fingers one in the pickpocket skill tree. What? Yes, that's what we want. Next, we're going to make death bell, salt pile, and taproot. And finally, death bell garlic and salt pile. You can make six of those. This will put us just short of level three. When we sell off, we'll be able, we'll level up. And alchemy. Oh yeah, one more thing. We make one ridiculously expensive salmon roll, Nordic barnacle, and garlic potion. So salmon roll, garlic, and Nordic barnacle. Just need one. If there's any potions that you couldn't make, make more salmon row potions. Okay? Back Some of you may not have been able to make the dragon's tongue potion. So, sell what you can to Arcadia, and we're going to go next door to Bellathor and sell off more to Bellathor. And this will level us up to level 3 Got something for just by leveling speeds here. because we're selling. Give up everything. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Okay, sell that. And all these power potions that we just made. Keep the invisibility potion, that's valuable. And any junk that you happen to pick up. Don't need the soul gems, obviously, because we can't do any enchanting. And as you saw, by selling we leveled up speech, and that leveled us up to level 3. Buy any lock picks that you can. Gonna be using a lot of lock picks. And that's it. Bellator is down to his last two bucks and he has no more money. Do come back. All right, now we're going to continue our life of crime. First thing we're going to do is sleep till midnight so that we will have the cover of darkness and make sure you fly up the stairs like that. <laughs> Helps. Yeah, wait till midnight or sleep till midnight. And now we are going to dump everything in our possession into this dresser here. Everything. Every last thing. Why slack? Because we might get caught. And if we get caught, we're going to have to break out of jail. And we don't want our stuff in the prisoner belongings container. So, and especially our stolen stuff. Most particularly the elven bow. That will, that will get taken away. All right, so now we're going to make our way up to the White Run Guard Barracks. I believe that's what it's called here, the Guard Barracks. Here we go. And at midnight, mo a lot of them are sleeping in the bunker, in the the bedroom there. So we're gonna level up. I put one point into Light Fingers. Just want to demonstrate something here. Go into sneak mode. What we are after is all the steel arrows that these guys have. Okay, a lot of them are going to be sleeping in here. Go up. Just want to show you just for demonstrational purposes. Now we have a 78% chance to steal steel arrows. If we get the next perk in Light Fingers, get Light Fingers 2, we will increase that to 90%, which is the maximum percent uh, chance that you can get to steal anything. All right, so grab those steel arrows. If successful, dump those steel arrows in this barrel here. Make sure you don't get caught doing this. Okay? And rinse and repeat. Go to another guard. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. 
wait till the eye is closed, grab his steel arrows, and go dump those steel arrows in the barrel. Why, Slack? Because if you get caught, all your stolen arrows won't get taken away. We can come back and retrieve these. Okay, so after every pickpocketing attempt, successful pickpocket, pickpocketing attempt, go stash those arrows. If you get caught, you can either break out of jail or simply serve your time, come back here, and keep going. Let's see if we can get his arrows. Yoink. <laughs> Picking the pocket on the move. Okay, like I said, don't let them see you going into that barrel because even depositing things in the barrel will get you busted if they catch you. Okay, so we took his. Looking to have about 100 steel arrows. That would be great. Already got his. Why not go for the crossbow? I'm sure somebody's going to ask this because we want to save that for later. The crossbow does more damage. Be perfect for this run. We want to save that for later because um, bolts are going to be limited in the beginning. We want to save that for a special operation much later on. Like when we're around the level 20 or so. Okay, so we're going to stick with the elven bow for now and steel arrows. And that was doing really good here. Didn't get caught. Just double checking to make sure you got everybody. And there's one more guy sitting down here. And sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. And yoink. And. There's trouble in White Run, and I'll haul you into the Dragon's Reach dungeon myself. <laughs> How incredibly ironic. <laughs> there we go. So we have 100 stolen steel arrows. Let's grab those out of the barrel. And the operation was a success, Doctor. Way to go, Dipper. Living up to your name. Dipper Conway. All right. So let's go retrieve all their stuff from the inn. And be on our merry way. Back to the dresser. Grab everything. Just want to put on my tavern clothes. There we go. Ah, back to normal. All right. Let's blow this popsicle stand. Next, all we have to do is just run down to the front door of White Run to discover White Run because at this point we haven't. Haven't actually discovered White Run. There you go, White Run discovered, and then we can fast travel back to Pelagia Farm to save a little time going down to White Run stables. Up to White Run stables. And we're gonna hire the carriage. Make sure you actually discover White Run stables. Hire the carriage to go to Riften. So cost is 20 gold. You should have Where plenty of gold go? by now. Well over 18, 1800 well, gold. And back and we'll be off. If you've never been to Ripton, be sure to visit the Blackbriar Meadery. A few mugs of that and you'll forget all of... In Riften. Let's take a look around and see if any higher thugs have arrived yet. They probably won't because it usually takes them 48 hours to get activated. Okay, and make sure you loot, loot these fish barrels here for some salt pile. Back around the back of the stables, there is a canis root here. We can use that for paralysis potion, potion rather. Poison, rather. And let's do a little canis root run. Behind these bushes here is a canis root. You can barely see it, but it is there. And then just follow along the edge of the mountain here. Right around here to find another canis root here. And I forgot the one behind the the third guardhouse. 
I meant to get it later. Make sure we have command animal ready to go here. Because there's some wolves just up the hill on the right here. You can actually level up sneak a little bit. Go into sneak mode. There we go, you can hear him. There we go, level up, level up sneak. Very good. And another one over here. And like I said, I forgot the one behind the third guardhouse. It's very unusual because that's the easiest one to get. Anyways, no worries. We're going to get lots of canines right later on. Um, that's it. Let's go into Riften. Hold there. Persuade the guard. It's an easy speech. Check. No problem. You want everyone to hear you? And we're done here. What a wild ride. Was that worth the price of admission or what? How's that for a first video? Off to a blistering start here. Let's just get her in the light here so I can sign up. There you go. Looking good. Dipper Conway. Yeah. Hey, thanks for watching. And um, if this walkthrough helped you out, post a comment. I'd love to hear from my target audience. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And give me a thumbs up because it really helps out the channel. And I will see you next time for some more pure wood elf. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1, that's all. That's all it takes, alright? Thanks a lot, really appreciate it.